Hey guys, it's Miss Susie. I'm going to be showing you how you can make a bird feeder out of a half gallon milk jug. Or if you also have a full gallon milk jug, you could also use that as well. If you have neither, you could use a water bottle. It's just going to be smaller. Or a soda bottle. Um, or even like those paper like milk jugs that you get um, the almond milk, those kind of jugs, you can also use that as well for other alternatives. So the materials that you will need besides this is scissors. I got a bunch of markers that I grabbed, a bunch of Sharpies. You're gonna need some kind of rope or yarn. So I got some yarn too. And I also got stickers to decorate and you could use um paints paint brushes any any kind of material to decorate your bird feeder so let us go ahead and start so you're gonna want to cut out with your scissors two holes at the on the side of the milk jug so the bird can enter into. Be careful when you're cutting so you're not accidentally cutting yourself. And if you're having trouble, always ask for help. So cutting. Okay. Oops, there was still water and I just spilled it on me. I took off the cap because we're gonna tie rope around the top. So there's one hole and then I think I'm gonna cut out this nutrition facts label. So that's how my bird feeder is going to look but yours can look different too yours doesn't need to look like mine you could also you could choose whichever wall you want to cut out, cut out so you could have done like this one across so it's like one one straight through entrance and exit for the bird to you okay so this is my container I kind of like that the the two squares are like asymmetrical so they're not right across so obviously you're not going to want to fill the bird like put bird seed in or bird fruit in above this because of course it's gonna fall out um okay so let us get started with decorating this is kind of freestyle your own i think i'm gonna draw like a flower to decorate mine my bird feeder I'm just like briefly and quickly drawing a flower.
this is kind of your like own creativity but i want to use like most of the stickers because i have so many stickers when i was younger when i was about your age i just started collecting a bunch of stickers i have like a whole bin of stickers that i kind of want to put to use so i'm going to use stickers from like my majority of the decorating i have like a roll of stickers like this is nothing compared to the the bin of stickers i have so i'm just gonna like put stickers everywhere so i could use them i have like these really cool like ocean fish stickers that i'm gonna add Just gonna decorate my milk jug, my bird feeder. I'm actually so happy to finally use these. It's been so long. I have these like smiley face stickers that I think that are from highlights. Because when I was younger too, my mom had a subscription for highlights for me because I loved getting those books and I got stickers with the highlight books. And then I also have these animal booklets. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some animals to my bird feeder. Yeah, I used to love collecting stickers when I was younger. Stickers and tattoos, they were the two things I collected when I was around your age. There's so many stickers in here too. Oh, I could put like some cats and dogs on my bird feeder. I'm gonna put a cat. In some spots I'm noticing they're not sticking on too well. I kind of would overlap the corners, which is probably not the best idea because they're not staying. I might need to move some of these stickers a little bit so they stay better. But I'm also running out of space too, so that's kind of unfortunate. Yeah, seems like I'm having a lot of trouble with my placement of stickers. I'm gonna put a panda bear on mine because I love pandas. There's a flamingo. And then I also have these like really cool colored in stickers that I would like to add as well. I actually just finished coloring um, these stickers. I think it was on my birthday. <laughs> which was May 4th, I ended up just, for whatever reason, finishing coloring the, st the sticker kits. Even though I'm a, like an adult, I was coloring the stickers and you can never be too old, apparently, to do that. They're not sticking though, these ones, unfortunately. I don't know if it's because I got a big one and I, I don't have much space to place them anymore, but they're not staying. 
you kind of have to if you're gonna do stickers, you have to place them on a flat surface is what I'm noticing because they're not gonna stick otherwise. I got some ladybugs that I'll add. Ooh, I got a pretty butterfly. Actually, no, that's not a butterfly. That is a flower. Oops. Yep, it is a flower. Just the shape looked like a butterfly. I'm running out of space, though. Yeah. Will I be able to fit the butterfly or the flower? I keep saying butterfly, it's a flower. Maybe right there. Is that a, will that work? And then I have a bunch of these little stars that should fit in a bunch of different places. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead, add some more Sharpie, add some more color. Ah! My cat sticker fell off. Oh no, I don't know where to put it. It fell off. It did not want to be on. Uh, I'm just going to put it back in the book. Okay. They're not really staying on that well, which is kind of frustrating. And I'm sure if you hang these outside with the rain, they'll probably fall off. <clears throat> so just to warn you that it might happen. Yep, I'm just going to add more colors. Wow. That just fell off just by me coloring right next to it. Yeah, I'm just basically quickly coloring over the surface. Okay, 
So this is what I got so far. Ooh, all the stickers. And unfortunately, I do not have bird food or bird seed. You could probably get it either at a pet store or at Walmart. Possibly, I just don't have it on me. So right now, I'm just going to show you how to get it all set up. And then maybe your parents could get you bird seed or bird food, and then you can hang it up. So I'm going to cut some yarn. Ideally, you want like twine or rope. But because I don't have that, I'm just going to use yarn, but I'm going to cut a bunch of pieces of yarn. And I'm going to triple it up so it's stronger. Actually, I might wait at four pieces. Yeah, I'm going to quadruple it up so it's a lot stronger and more durable. And then you're just going to tie it. Around the cap. I've seen it tied around the cap. I don't know why you were tied around the cap. Seemed like the most obvious answer would be to tie it, you know, around the handle. But let's see. Oops. Oh my goodness. And then there you go. And then you can go ahead and just tie it up at the top again once you hang it and add some bird seed and bird food and go ahead and take a picture and post it on your portfolio on Class Dojo and I look forward to seeing them. Bye!